I wanted to preface this video by saying that it was being made before Steve was announced for Smash, and a lot of my key points here are actually exemplified because of it. What? Shovel Knight's in this game? Oh my god, that's so sick! But, uh, if only he was playable, man. Oh wow, those Pokemon outfits are actually really nice looking. What? Sans? Oh my- Dude, he's in the game, but if he was playable! Oh, that's so sick! He even comes with his own music tra- Oh my god, he's in the game, dude! Okay, who's it gonna be this time? Oh, Cuphead! Okay, that's really cool. At least he finally got in the game. And he looks really cool how, like, the gun is his finger. That's so sick! Wow, so technically we have two Microsoft reps in the game now. Technically. Smash Brothers as a franchise is known for including a lot of video games and being this museum of them. There's a couple of things that Smash doesn't include in their main roster, and one of those categories is an indie rep. We have Shovel Knight as an assist trophy, and both Cuphead and Sans as playable characters through the means of a Mii costume. And characters like Shantae are spirits in the game. With the lack of a modern day indie rep in Smash Brothers Ultimate, fans have been extremely vocal in wanting to get these characters into Smash Brothers with the starts of Shantae and the revolutionary game of Shovel Knight, basically bringing a renaissance and showing indie characters can actually be a modern day icon. While I'm on the topic of Shovel Knight, I wanted to talk about how it was this small Kickstarter that ended up growing into a worldwide phenomenon, in which Nintendo even recognized it and gave them their own amiibo set. Nintendo absolutely loved Yacht Club and the work that they did, so they went ahead and approached them to get a cameo as an assist trophy, but apparently it was never in the cards to actually get him as a playable character. To even be approached by Nintendo or Sakurai himself to actually want your character to be in the biggest fighting collaboration is an insane feat that can't be underestimated. From that, I even used the Shovel Knight tag still to show my support for the game that I absolutely enjoyed playing. Well now, if they really did enjoy Shovel Knight that much, why didn't they go ahead and approach him as a playable character? And what does that mean for people that are still wanting the likes of Hollow Knight and Shantae? Is it because these franchises are too small like the likes of Final Fantasy and Persona? Yet, there is a reason why indie reps are wanting so badly and why a lot of people actually advocate for them more so than a lot of triple a studio video game characters indie games take a lot of work into developing them because they're such a small team and a new idea that can revolutionize the scene but it just doesn't have the money and support that it needs in order to get it out as quickly as a lot of other games a perfect example of this is by looking at the yearly call of duty series and a game that took five years long to create became a massive hit is only twenty dollars is considered one of the best platformers and has stunning visuals that not only gave it a netflix show but it's also in arby's now what is happening with Cuphead. The fact that an indie game that was now picked up by Microsoft and is this big franchise is just insane to even think about. Yet none of these things are able to happen unless if there's this small community of people that enjoy the game and support them through all of it. These people talk with the devs and seeing how well the game plays and giving them constructive criticism. They show support by actually donating money or by spreading awareness of the game by posting it online or even playing it on Twitch or YouTube. A perfect example of what the community can do to a video Video game in its rise of popularity is what's happening right now with Among Us. Do you see how big this game is getting? It is insane that a two year old game, an indie game made by three people, is this massive million dollar hit that everyone is playing and enjoying. Indie games have this potential to be this worldwide phenomenon from Shovel Knight and his 2D Kickstarter platformer that revolutionized the scene, to Hollow Knight that reinvented what a Metroidvania could and can be, to Celeste being a smash hit in terms of storytelling with a platformer to illustrate the hardships and obstacles mental illness poses to people, and lastly Fall Guys showing how much people enjoy playing party games and how much they love watching streamers interact with each other. Are you seeing something? Indie games has something that is for everyone. Indie games isn't a specific genre, it's a class of video games and the quality and the time that it takes to create them in terms of team size and budget. Because of this and the small factor of these video games is that you could probably talk to a lot of people about Halo being a series, but if I go out in the streets and I try to talk about how much I love The Messenger, no one's gonna know what that is, but it was a game that converted you from an 8-bit platformer to a 16-bit Metroidvania halfway through the game what even happened in that game? It was so good! 
Now, I know a lot of people didn't play the messenger, and I know I'm one of the few that even know what the messenger is compared to the likes of big series, but that's the point and beauty of indie games. Because of the amount of time and passion that is poured into these games, the small amount of people that end up playing these games end up feeling this sense of attachment with the characters and with the game as a whole. No matter how popular the indie game gets, it still feels like it was your adventure and that it was your time with the character rather than the millions that actually played Shovel Knight. Because of this, I still have very vivid memories of playing Shovel Knight and even seeing Plague Knight's ending being this majestical dance that he so ever deserved. Or the fact that my friend and I played Cuphead periodically over the course of two years to beat the game and ended up doing so a week before we had to go to college. Or to the time that I played Celeste and I understood the feathered breathing exercise because I was going through a hard time in my life and it made me feel like I wasn't alone in it. And to coincide with this, when I played Gris, it was this awesome game that I could sit back and relax and just look at the visuals of the game. And finally, with the biggest indie game as of right now, Among Us, no matter how many clips, videos on YouTube I see, I know how much fun I had in playing that game and seeing my friend vent and having to run myself to the button in order to call a meeting to only be kicked out because I was sus. Indie games leave this whimsical mark on their players. And because of this, we absolutely want these video game characters to be represented in Smash Brothers Ultimate. To coincide with Smash, we want an indie rep that'll represent indie games as a whole and the power that they have to become this massive phenomenon and to shake up the industry. Now to top it all off, indie reps would be the representatives for the underdogs in the video game industry. Most indie games fly under the radar and don't get as much attention that they truly deserve. For example, back when Minecraft was still an indie title, a lot of people didn't expect the game to not only revolutionize YouTube and streaming as a whole, but to also influence game makers such as the likes of Breath of the Wild and opening their sandboxes for players to explore and create their own adventures. Adventures. Minecraft showed game makers that we no longer needed tutorials in explaining the basic mechanics of a video game and that we would rather enjoy learning it for ourselves. Because of the small and humble origins of an indie game to the massive popularity they can reach, a lot of players that stuck with that game from the beginning are more willing and more advocating for these characters to be represented because of how much they have seen their character grow. Notice how I said their character as in the player. That is because that's what indie game characters feel like to us. Most indie devs are first and foremost video game players and because of this, they derive a lot of that joy that they have into playing these games into their own game and wanting to appease most of their audience. Whether it's someone that's extremely casual in a gameplay or wanting more puzzles or adventure or by wanting an extreme challenge, most devs end up finding a really good way of satisfying the customer. The best example of this is the extreme laid back nature that you can take in Hollow Knight and by going at it your own pace. However, there's Pantheon of Hollow Nest, which truly challenges even the best Hollow Knight players by having to beat all of the bosses in one go. This allows a lot of players to gain a great sense of attachment to the character because of how diverse the gameplay can be. From this, it not only boosts the popularity of the game, but it also brings a lot of players into playing it. And back to the root and the natural cause of wanting a Smash Brothers character to be an indie rep is because of how many people can actually relate to the character themselves. There's something poetic by wanting a Smash character to be an indie rep just for the underdog, just in the love and nature that you put into playing their video game and by seeing their video game character growing up to be this Smash hit icon. However, you're not just rooting for the character themselves or the title for that matter. You're also rooting for the creator and how small they were at first and how successful they became. Just watch this clip from the creators of Shovel Knight. Indie games is something to celebrate, and by wanting a Smash character to represent them is something that is most definitely deserved. The fact that they're even me costumes at this point is something that's insane to see in Smash Brothers, and here's to hoping that we see more representation of them in the biggest gaming collaboration out there.